In this video, you learn 10 mistakes I avoid when learning how to acquire wealth. Let us get started. This is Wealth Secrets TV. Don't forget to subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss anything. Making a lot of money is one thing, and getting rich is another. Generating wealth, that is what very few people learn. I'm sure you've heard the proverb, get rich quick, but you will never get rich quick. High respect and attention to their money, knowing that nothing can happen without attention. Let me see someone who doesn't care about their money, and I'll show you someone who doesn't have enough money. The rich also run away from the mistakes of workers and the rich. However, making mistakes in life is part of the learning process. We all make mistakes and, when we try to learn from them, we do not repeat. Mistakes of money are a relatively difficult area for many people. This is very difficult for young people. I write from personal experience, here are some common money mistakes I avoid. 1. Trust without test. One of the mistakes I avoid while learning to generate wealth is trusting people because I love them. I have a friend who naively trusts a group of people he knows. He forgot to get proof that they were exactly as they had imagined. Instead, he went with his feelings and was deceived. When he realizes that something is wrong, he is in the millions. Since then, I have ignored my feelings towards people and still look for concrete evidence. If you are very close to people you do not want them to give evidence of, follow the policy not to process them. 2. Do not invest without a plan. Investing without a plan is a very bad idea. One of the biggest mistakes I see is that the investors I avoid make them invest money for no purpose except, make money. That doesn't make sense. This is like starting a diet to lose weight or driving aimlessly. Without a goal and a deadline, you are ready to face failure even before you start. Plan, set your goals, you know why you are investing. Should it be postponed to retirement? Dream vacation. Your child's education. So how long do you want to invest that money? This also determines your risk tolerance. And finally, choose the right account. 3. Lesson time. People love hobbies for a variety of good reasons, they love these hobbies, these are social opportunities, give them opportunities to exercise and give them opportunities for creativity. However, after a while, some people began to consider their hobbies as necessities and not as additional activities. It is good if you have enough money to bring it to this level, but if not, you should study your hobbies, sports, and hobbies to see if there is a cheaper way to do it. Also. Many parents are in debt because they support their children's sports or other activities. Kids are just as expensive as you. You do not need to spend a lot of money on your child's hobby until he or she has a wonderful childhood. There is always a choice. 4. Differences. This gives me the risk of putting eggs in the basket. Diversity is a valuable risk management tool, but only if used properly. Diversity only adds value when newly added resources have different risk profiles. For example, if you diversify your US equity portfolio, you could consider unrelated markets, such as gold, real estate, gold, commodities, and other related asset classes. Weak or upside down. The goal of your diversity is to add an independent and sometimes different source of income. This can reduce portfolio risk and may increase overall returns in combination with other investment methods. 5. Do not pay attention. This is one of the most common financial mistakes people make. People do not pay much attention to their finances. Their salaries appear in their accounts every two weeks. They pay their bills and then spend what is left, as long as there is balance. It takes time and some work to sit down, keep track of expenses, and set budgets. However, if you do not do it from time to time, you will most likely end up without money and will not succeed. 6. Big debts. Many consider it normal to have debts. You always owe your credit card, overdraft facility, or line of credit. Unfortunately, some people even take out a second loan or mortgage from a financial company to consolidate their debts or pay for unforeseen expenses. The problem with such debt is that it is usually costly. If you only pay interest on debts that are 12% or 30%, it will cost hundreds of dollars of your monthly income. If you add the principle of payment, this debt can quickly absorb most of your disposable income. 7. Economy, economy. It is impossible to create real wealth simply by saving money. 
Banks only pay 25%. It can take up to 40 years for your money to grow 10% if the interest rate stays the same. Most importantly, inactive money always needs an emergency for funding. I avoid this dilemma by transferring excess funds to future investment accounts that I cannot easily accessible so that money is available for investments when I finally have the knowledge and the courage to do so. I was discouraged, but it made me work harder. 8. Buy I want. It's as simple as ABC, but most people repeat this mistake. There is a difference between will and need. Don't spend your money buying what you want. Something isn't necessary. For example, you have 10 jeans in your closet, not only are they there, they are in good condition, but you still want to buy more. I'm not saying that you can't buy things like that, but if it's not that important, don't buy or save that money for anything more important. 9. Do not be with parents for financial aid. This is a tough decision. A large number of young people still rely on our parents' money. This does not encourage us to think consciously and specifically. To achieve financial freedom, discipline, and the willingness to survive difficult times are required. With most students nowadays completing large student loans, the added pressure to start a life, manage expenses, pay rent, and save enough to settle is huge. Next, you should contact your parents for financial help. It gives you big problems and deprives you of life lessons in personal finance. When you need it, decide to let go of something. You sacrifice an aspect of your lifestyle to meet your needs. This is the key to long-term personal finance success. Don't always rely on your parents, cousins, or good friends for financial support. 10. Borrow money. You have to be careful with that. When you borrow money from people around you, your relationship is not just money. The two most common reasons why people borrow money are education and marriage. The average wedding cost for an American wedding is $35,000. Student loan equivalent. Everyone wants a wedding that has all the bells and whistles, but what about the price? Very expensive. So people spend all their savings or borrow more money. This subtly stretches them, and ultimately the relationship is risky. As I said, there is always a choice. Stick to your budget or go to a bank. So you don't risk your relationships with family members, friends, and potential guardians. I hope you like this video. Click on the like, share, and subscribe if you like this video let us know if you like or dislike it in the comment below, and we will be glad to hear your feedback. Thank you, we love you.